<sighs> Shut up, Fred. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to um, Passive 360. It is the 21st of August, my granddaughter's birthday, actually. Sweet 16. So we're going to spoil her a little bit today. Um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about, well, you know, Ash is very busy. We don't know all the details, but he said he will, when he can, give us the details, grab your popcorn. But until then, he has the link. He could pop in anytime. He's in meetings from morning till morning, uh, working on a lot of stuff in our behalf. We all know that. But in the meantime, there's no reason to sit idle. In fact, I want to give a couple a couple things that people could be doing that, that I, I think would be a good idea. For one is, there's different shows, okay? You know that me, myself and Chris, we run Shine the Light. Red does In the Chair. I believe Julie is Heart to Heart Connection. And what this is about is, most of the time when we're running and things are moving, it's hard to get to know everybody. So we started doing this because I don't believe in sitting still, take advantage of whatever time we have. And I think it's a good idea now to start meeting the supporters of this company, the people on the outside that maybe you don't see as much. You obviously see us three, okay? But I really, and all of us want to really get to meet people. And in the last month, month and a half, I've met people, I've seen the names, but they actually came on and I find out stuff about them I did not know. Uh, they have exciting backgrounds and things they've done in their life. Some have taken that, that road of MLM like I did. And you hear the horror stories but anyway, it's a beautiful thing to do. If you're out there, and, and I would I really would say to India, other countries, it may not be a bad idea to do this because you see the names, they're always in your support, they're always there holding up things for us. It's time to shine the light on them or set them in a chair or have a connection, whatever you want to call it. And I think the more we know about each other, the closer we'll get and the stronger this core team will be. So anybody that can speak English, and I don't care where you're from, uh, if you want to get a hold of Red or Chris or um, Julie Wynn, get a hold of them. Tell them I'd like to come on your show. They'll tell you the times because we're, we're running every day right now. Now, when things get moving, when, when Ash gives us our marching orders, then we'll move on to a different, what we used to do, keep people going, pointing out things. Red will do his updates, you know, like like we, like we used to do. I love doing that. But there'll be days we'll do some more shine the light or, you know, anything. I, I really believe that there's a couple things in this company that's a done deal for me in, in here. We're going to have the best products in the world. I'm not questioning that. I know that Mr. Mafara doesn't settle for great. He doesn't. When we got to Lasso Connect, I said, oh, this is great. We can make something better. What the heck? I'm not talking about years ago. The last one, the one we, we left, it was nobody was as good as that. Nobody. I've done many of them. But we already know that's a done deal. We know that we have products that are in high demand. So people are going to flock in. Why? There's two two or three reasons. One is it'll be the quality, the technology, the IT, and the cost and the value of the product. People are looking for value. And if you can come in and you know the value of Vote Connect already, look what we got for the amount of money. It's it's it feels like you're robbing somebody. And that will be the same case as we go forward. No one will touch us in price. And we will be, I believe with all my heart, above market in technology. 
I, I, I believe as has had the vision, and as, as, as he said to us, things got screwy. He said, no, 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 I got to take charge of this ship. And he did. And, and taking charge is not as easy as pushing a button and sweeping a little dust under the carpet. There's more involved. And he can't just come out and blah, 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 blah. You, you don't do that. When, when he can, you know, and I know that he will. We know this. But anyway, take the time. Grab somebody. Grab Red. I want to come on your show. Get a hold of Chris. I want to come on your show. We would love it. We're, we're making a list now. People contacted me today. And we want to hear about you. I don't want people coming on giving a sermon about on passive. That's not what this is about. This is about you. What, why did you come in on passive? What are you looking to get out of it? And what do you love about it? And what has it done to you so far? I'm going to give you an example. I came in on passive. I'm going on my sixth year. I've been in 50 businesses before here, at least, minimum. I have never, ever got in a business that every month I feel more and more connected to this business. I wouldn't go anywhere. Have I been offered? Yes. I want to tell you, some of the offers out there now, I can rob you blind. I know how to do it. I know how to get a lot of people in and make a dollar here and a quarter here and a dollar here. But guess what? That puts you right back where you were before. That puts us all back there. We're here because, and I can talk with these two guys, I know for a fact, we're going to do fine. But we love the idea that everybody's going with us. Why would we go on a cruise all together and you're looking and saying, well, those two guys made a mint, we didn't make nothing. I don't want that. That's out there now. The, the guys that can market take all the money and you wind up with peanuts. And some of you don't even get the shelves. I know this for a fact. Numbers don't lie. So think about what you're doing. And one big thing you need to keep in mind, pay once and get paid for the rest of your life. You, I might as well have a freaking unicorn sticking out of my head. You can't pay once to get paid for life. It doesn't make sense. The math doesn't add up. It, it, it'll never happen. It, never, never. So anyway... Stay focused. Get in here. Let, let us know about you. Because I'm learning stuff I couldn't believe. And don't be nervous. You're, there's no reason to be nervous with any of them. Julie's easy to talk to. Red's easy to talk to. Me and Chris, come on. We're all family, right? It's all yours. You can't make a mistake. You're talking about you. Anyway, I rambled long enough. I'm going to turn it over to Red. Go ahead, Red. Thanks very much, Marty. Chris, how you doing? Looks like you are having a fantastic time uh, up in the north, uh, wherever it is. Sorry. Uh, OK, um, let me latch on to what Marty's been saying, by the way, of uh, him doing in shine a light and I'm doing in the chair, Julie, heart to heart, etc. There certainly is an underlying theme to everything we're doing. And it really is interesting, actually, when you start talking to quite literally the everyday person on the street who has joined on passive for whatever reason they've come in uh, to on passive. And these uh, normal everyday people have the same stories to a certain extent. Many of them uh, have come through a lot of adversity uh tried many many things as marty has said uh and all the rest of it but they all come to on passive in the end now if you've listened to what um uh, ash mufaro has said in the previous meetings that we've had what's he always said doesn't matter what you're doing out there everybody will come to on passive so why am i saying this because we need on passive the people out there need on passive we who are already in on passive need on passive because it really is the only company that ticks all of the boxes that people are looking for when they are looking at stuff online marty's mentioned it the products what are they we understand how products work you understand that if you sell a product, you make a commission, and that is how you earn your money. Very easy business sense. 
this is really one of the very first reasons that I looked at on passive is because I knew it was going to be a product based, customer based business. The maths worked out in my head very easily. You buy something, you resell it, you make a commission. Happy days. We move on and rinse and repeat. This is the platform that people understand. Couple that with the entry point, very low. Couple that with the value and the community and all the rest of it. On passive is certainly the business that people need. When I've been doing the interviews of In The Chair, when the people come on who you know some of the faces, you see them in the chat and all the rest of it, the excitement in their voices about their journey in on passive and what on passive is going to do for them really is incredible. And we're not talking about people who are saying, I'm going to be buying a mansion. I'm going to get the newest car. I'm going to get flash gear. Nobody yet I have interviewed has said anything like that. They have said, yeah, I'm going to sort myself out. I'm going to make sure I'm comfortable. Yes, they've said, I'm going to help my family. But the first words out of their mouth after that is, I'm going to do something good. I'm going to help other people. I'm going to help orphanages. I'm going to help the needy people on the street. Whatever the thing is they're looking to do, that is what they are interested in. Now, when you have a collective of people, let's call us, a movement. Ash Mufara likes that word. And I really believe we are a movement. When we have like minded people all talking from the same hymn sheet about what the money is going to do, we're not talking about making individual millionaires who are going to keep all that money for themselves. We're talking about people who are going to be very successful. But, and here is the but, very successful people doing a whole lot of good with the money that they have made. Now that is gonna change so many lives. And this is why we need on passive, the people out there certainly need on passive, but more importantly, the good causes out there need on passive more. That's it for me, Chris, back to you. I wanna say a couple more things that I had forgot. I asked Chris if I could cut in real quick. Uh, other things that you can do. Um, Heroes has a webinar every Sunday at two o'clock. They do a little bit of spotlighting a couple people and then they get into other items that they bring up that, that they see during the week and what people are saying. It's a very good place to go. I just want to say, go there if you want. Now, that's another opening for you to go. Comfort Comfort, okay? She is one of the best top tier uh, people that host the show. Why? She's very good at talking to you. She listens to what you're saying. She's another person you could contact. She's looking for people. And another person is Andy Burks. Andy does something on Tuesdays, I believe, every week. He's looking to talk to people and ideas that you might have or whatever. Contact them. Let him know what you would like to talk about. If it's up his, if it's something he's doing, do it. Why sit around? Go ahead and do it. So keep in mind, there's many things to do. And if you want fun, just just fun and unpassive, every night at 9:30 Eastern uh, Daylight Time, we have trivia, men against the women. And I want I would tell you just run so smooth. No. We fight like cats and dogs, but we do it in all fun. It's all fun. We have a great time there. Not everybody knows the answer, except for Eric Kessler. I think he knows all the answers. You just got to beat him with pushing the button. But it's a lot of fun. Enjoy yourself. Come meet. I've, I've met a couple of people this last week. I Get a hold of me, and I'll tell you how to get to uh, Minnow's um, trivia at night. It's a lot of fun. There's... Like what I'm saying, there's a there's a buffet of things to do. Don't just sit there. And if you're alone or you were invited to unpass it by somebody or some person that kind of drifted away, bypass them. You don't owe anybody anything. You could go wherever you want to go. And if you if you go and ask and whatever, you could be involved in a lot of stuff. 
I'm sorry, I forgot about that when I was talking. I, Chris, let me cut it. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> Very good, Marty Red. I love you both. It's nice to see you here. Um, and Julie just texted me. And if you look at it, between two of us, me, between me and Marty and Red, we have different time zones. So a lot of people were asking to get on ours, and it was a 12-hour difference. I suggest you go to Red's in that time zone so you're on the same time, so you, ain't gotta, you don't have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Julie Wen is three or four hours behind us. If you're in that time zone, get on there. Norelle Warcon again, is doing this. She's in Australia. She's doing Australians. We're all trying to get a little bit of each other, and that's what is making this work. And I agree with both what these guys said. It's positive, uh, and it's really preparing you for the world, to be honest with you. Whether you believe me or not, that's the truth. Now, let me tell you why we're all here, and let me tell you why I'm here. Um, I'm 58 years old. I'll be 59, and I won't tell you. It's this year sometime, okay? You see me went on this. I went on a, a short vacation here. I'm in Drummond Island, Michigan. Uh, it's one of the places I grew up as a kid. Uh, we had a cottage up here. Uh, I brought my son up here to do some fishing. He's thinking on the fishing, but just to show him what I did as a kid. Now, I worked, as all of you know, and I'll say it again, 32 years I had Ford and Mazda Motor Company. In addition to that, I worked another 10 to 12 years in a bunch of odd jobs over my lifetime. So basically, I worked... 90% of my life for the time and freedom that I have now. Okay. Um, I retired, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. I have not yet started my retirement, to be honest with you. I take a little vacation here, a little one there, and not bragging, but this is something I worked for. So I want you to think about, let's say 45 years of my life, it took me to get to the time and freedom that I have now. All right. And why am I saying this? Uh, because I would trade that in a heartbeat. I don't want any of you, and a lot of, excuse me, a lot of you have gone through this already, worked your lives away, uh, because you had to. You got to pay bills, take care of your family. But the time and freedom that Ash Mafar and Impassive is offering is, uh, it doesn't even come close to anything good out there. Let's say that way, if I said that wrong. The time and freedom he's offering to all of us is something where you don't have to work 42 years of your life or 90% of your life, which most of us are probably around our age that are in this. We do have quite a few founders that are a lot younger, uh, maybe in their early forties. we got some early twenties. We even got some in the teens. Okay. And we've showed them in the past. We try to just keep it to a 18 and over crowd right now. We have people buying positions uh, for children that aren't born yet. Our grandchildren, our great grandchildren, to keep that legacy going. The whole point is I'm saying is since I was a little kid, I had a camera or some kind of video camera in my hand. I have taken pictures of everything in my life or make video. I drove my family crazy. Sometimes I still do. Uh, I like to show everything that I'm doing, but I want to iterate. It took me 45 years of my 58 years living to get where I'm at right now. What Ash Mafar is doing, uh, and, and I, we used to say, I may bounce off it. I used to say chain, uh, trade 30 years for two to three years. Okay. And I said that quite a bit. Things are happening. Things are going. It keeps getting bigger. Uh, we had a few uh, speed bumps in the way, which doesn't stop us. I know Ash Mafar is working his brains off right now to clear and, and get us going again. When I have no idea. Um, I don't even know if he's coming on this show today, but all I know is I will help you get rid of that 42 years of your life of working. If I can't, if I could change many kids, even in the college age, now please go to college. You, you can't, college is great. If you're going, don't stop what you're doing. If you're out there getting an education at, at what age, keep doing that. I've got people that call me and text me and say, well, I'm just not going to do nothing. I'm just going to wait for a passive to happen. No. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing uh, and, and let it go. We've had a lot of people over the years stop working and next thing you know, they're angry. It didn't happen yet. It did. Well, that's because Ash Mafara has never said, and I quote, keep doing what you're doing. He's always told us that, but um, I've, I'm practicing for the time and freedom that Ash Mafara is going to, is able to give us. 
Okay. Uh, I was driving up here a lot of miles. Uh, gas isn't too bad right now. And I looked at my son. I said, you know what it feels like just to stop and fill up your car and not even have to worry about it or, or rent a cottage, which I'm doing right now. I rented a boat and not worry about it. I'm practicing for what Ash Mafar has given to us, literally. And I want you all to experience that. I share things, what I'm doing, like Red does when he's on his vacations or his boat. And a happy birthday to Alexis, by the way. I love you. And anyone else that's got a birthday out there. Uh, but I'm practicing right now. And that's what I want you to do. By coming on to these uh, shows in the chair, shine the light. Uh, I forgot Julia, heart to heart conversation. Norell, Comfort, the O-Tech guys. We just want to understand who you are. And we don't have to. But it's sure nice knowing we know. I'm going to say we know a lot of people in a past and personally. That was one of the things that we all did. We, we we had personal relationships with some of these individuals. I have got more friends than I've ever even thought I can have. And I also have a lot of people out there who send me messages. Chris, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm hurting. Um, and let me tell you this. This is why I'm passive. And Ash Mafara came up with this company to help the little guy, to help the person that's hurting who's been struggling. There's people that's lived as my age, that has been struggling their whole life. That's not something that any of us want to see. We just have a lot, a lot of people um, that are struggling, but this is why they came. Like Red said, we have a lot of people that's done every single thing on the internet. Uh, I mean, everything me, I'm lucky, I guess, but to hear that they've got, you know, products from the big A company still, I, my parents did it. I still have, Dieter deodorant, I think it was, that I found in, in a closet uh, from Amway. I'll say it. I'm not, it's, it's, it's a company. Uh, I don't promote anything else but a passive, but I know people out there that have garage fulls or closet fulls of stuff because they tried it and everything under the sun, they tried it. And that's why they came here. It, some, you know, some people made some money. I get it. Totally understand it. But they're still here. Uh, no one really ever quit or retired from their J-O-B because they were kind of just doing, you know, the, when the online came out, it was, hey, make some money on the side. Send us $1,000. Wait a minute. Send us $1,200. Hey, send us $2,000. We're going to put you in that Ferrari and that big house. This is all the stuff I've watched on YouTube or, or all the social media for years. Show a guy with these beautiful women or, or a beautiful woman with all these good-looking guys, race cars, you know, dra everything, big houses, and they're right there lying to you. You get in this company, that's what they say, and you're going to have all this. That's one thing Ash Mafar has never said. That's why I really liked it. Uh, and the most exciting thing that he ever said, he said a lot of things that were exciting, but you guys aren't dreaming big enough. I remember the day he said it, and I, huh? I dropped my jaw. What do you mean we're not dreaming big enough? Yeah, you're not dreaming big enough. And I really enjoyed how he said that. And I'm thinking about it. We all have dreams. Every one of us have dreams. If you don't, find one. Uh, but we all dream of the nicer house, the nicer clothes, the best food, traveling all over the place. We all think of that. That's a, that's a normal human being. But it, believe it or not, in some parts of this world, uh, their dream is just to have food seven days a week. Their dream is to uh, drink clean drinking water. And we've talked about that immensely over the years. And this is why a passive really was created. Ask just seeing a need for many things that there wasn't a government in the world that was helping any of these people out. And I want, to, I want you to do a little studying for me. When you listen to political people talking, I know I'm rambling. What do they always say? We middle class built the world. I know we have middle class. I know we have super rich, but let's talk about the super poor. I want you to pay attention if you're watching some political speeches. All they ever really talk about is middle class. All right. We all came from somewhere. But for once, I'd like him to say, uh, we need to help people out in this world that's never had a chance, which may be poor or super poor. And I hate to tell you this, but there's a lot of people out there like that. I already know about the middle class. I consider myself middle class. I don't even know why that's a name. And then we have super rich. But pay attention. Do you ever hear anyone talk about the poor? the needy. We only, we only really hear about th those things. If you turn on the news and you hear, maybe they're taking tents down in a certain city, again, taken away from poor. There's people on the streets who do have mental illnesses. I would say the majority of them do. And uh, 
there's really no help because they close so many things. This is the things that I would like to concentrate. I know many of you reached out to me about the same issues, but this is why Unpassive was born. This is why every story that you tell all of us and everyone else that's doing it, how important it is for me, Marty and Red, to relate to what you're going through or what you went through. Some are really happy stories. Some are pretty sad stories. That's why we're doing this. We're basically just trying to bring people out to the world. We are practicing for when, when a passive really comes in. And uh, like you said, we save the videos. You can send them out to whoever you want. But when a passive truly, truly just blows up and takes off, that you're in the history books of the data world, as you can say it. People are going to be looking for me. Well, I got to find out more about this as a passive. They're going to go on YouTube and they're going to see us. They're going to see you. They're going to see all the people. And then they're going to look. Man, I relate good to that. I relate good to Judy Reese, who just went out here and blew us away about her taking care of birds. And she was terrified of birds. The whole idea of this whole thing is so we can relate you to the rest of the world. All right. Every one of us have a sad story. A lot of us have happy stories. But there's always something that's going to come in your life that someone's going to cross your path. That's going to change your life. And I believe it was uh, Ash Mafara. Uh, Peter Shore, thank him because he brought this to my attention. Uh, but this is what happens in life. And the reason I would like for you all to listen to you, yeah, some are a little long. We try to keep them to 20, 30 minutes now. But listen to their story. You will relate to them one way or the other because there's a lot of people we're doing it for. And that's what we have to do uh, right now because we want to prepare you. Let Ash keep working. Let him do what he's doing. And God knows what he's doing, but I know it's for the good and for all of us. And just keep uh, sending us messages, whatever. Don't be afraid. Uh, we've had everyone, as soon as they're done, say, that wasn't so bad. Because you don't really see people in front of you. So that's the good thing. But every one of us, we treat you respectfully, kindly. We'll make you laugh. Uh, so you're comfortable saying, and I will repeat what I say to everyone that comes on. We would like to know about you before and passive, when you got in passive, maybe with the things that you want to do after and passive. Absolutely thank Ash Mafara. Absolutely tell us who got you in this and where you want to go with this. And it's that simple. Uh, we're not turning it into a webinar where we're talking about and passive. Of course you can. You love it. I get it. But we want to really know about you. That's pretty much all I got for today. I rambled a little longer. Uh, I'm going to turn it back over to Marty to. Garmo. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Morty he doesn't know who I am. You said something in the beginning. I didn't know there was three of us. You said, me, myself, and Chris, we do Shining the Light. I go, oh, there's three of us. I didn't know that. Well, go ahead. You, you feel like more than one, okay? Um, anyway, I, I knew we were in good shape when Chris said he didn't have anything. So that then me and me and Red knew, okay, he, he's got something to say. Good. Anyway, uh, like Chris said, you know, he traded time for money a lot of time. And by the way, when he said he worked 40 years, dozens of those years were do uh, double shifts for like seven days a week. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You can't get that time back. So if he enjoys himself a little bit now, more power to him. But like he said, it's it, there's still, he has to think about you know, the money a little bit, make sure there's an, an unpassive. Someday we're going to live lives that we can only, only dream of. So I'm going to turn over to Red for a little bit and uh, I'll be back. Thank, fantastic. Actually, going on the back of what uh, Chris is saying about the sacrifices, uh, Jane, one of Jane's favorite sayings is, is, is the juice worth the squeeze? And if we relate that to unpassive, the, our journey, what, wherever your journey is, however long you've been in is immaterial. It's still your on passive journey. And why are you still here? Well, quite frankly, like I said, we all need on passive for all sorts of different reasons. And this is why I encourage absolutely everybody who is on here today to stay the course, stay that course to the end. Let's find out collectively together how this is all going to happen, how it's all going to work out. We believe in the business. We believe in our CEO. We believe in the journey. And it's just a matter of hanging in there and staying the course. There's so many things that are out there at the moment. 
shiny objects, whatever it are, and all the rest of it. But how many times have the same old, same olds been pitched at us? How many times have the same old things come across our paths? So you have to ask yourself, why are you here waiting for on passive? What is different about on passive compared to everything else? For a start, like Marty said, the products, the services, the value, what it's going to do for you. But more importantly, we are an ethical company. We are built on value. We have a community that is second to none because of the belief of each and every one of you of what this company is trying to do and succeed. We are pushing against the grain. We are producing a business that is completely different to anything else that is out there at the moment. We are gonna do good. How many companies can say that they are going to do good for the world? None, because they are all in it for themselves. Everything is revolving around that bottom line. How much money can we make for the shareholders, for ourselves individuals? How many billionaires, or how many billions can I make because of this business? It's obscene, it's not needed. What is needed? is this company on passive is needed for everybody to make that difference, to make the change for the average everyday person who is in the world at the moment. Chris mentioned the poor people, the, the middle class, as he likes to call it. Don't you think the middle class are hurting? They're only called middle class because they live in a nice house. They have a job. You have to now work two jobs or three jobs just to be able to stand still in that middle class. These people are hurting as much as anybody else. It really is only that elite rich list that are the ones that are comfortable. This is why every single person in the world right now needs on passive, because we are going to be the change. We are going to be the difference to finally have something online that does what it says on the tin. No hype, no talking about money, no talking about what, who can get rich because of this and that of it. No, we are a company that is going to do it the right way, the ethical way, and you will be so proud that you've stayed the course and stuck with on passive. Back to you, Marty. Fantastic. I'll, I'll turn it over to you in a minute. One more thing. Um, I was reminded by the dancing queen, Marcienne, yeah, that's what Chris has let me know about. I saw it. Uh, she does a French webinar on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's Marcienne. So if you speak French, go see Marcienne. She's an amazing woman. Uh, she was an introvert, and now she is on fire. She dances every day. I think it's called the Unpassive Cha-Cha. I'm not sure. But anyway, see here, if you speak French, she does it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'm, I'm reminded of all that. There's a lot of stuff going on. You just got to ask. And by the way, if you're somewhere and you speak a certain language, you could start your own. This isn't all just us. There's a, listen, on passive is a huge 500 lane highway or 5,000 lane highway. Pick your lane, find a way you love, and do it. It's that simple. Chris, do you have anything else? Yeah, I just want to add a couple names on there too. Is uh, the same show Marty's talking about with um, Dancing Queen there. Miss Francine, engineer Mike Sergey is their version of Shine the Light. So, uh, to me, we we try to get everyone's show. There's a lot of shows somewhere in I, different I, languages. I, I, hate, I want I a hate. challenge. Listen, I want to challenge India. I don't think I've seen a shine the light over there, India, Bangladesh. Let's get those uh, everyone covered. Let's show the world who everyone is because we are a global company. Wow. Who just showed up? Who's this guy? <laughs> I don't know if he's ready. You think he's ready? Is he on the screen? No, he's not on yeah, the he, screen. He, he did try uh, turning, putting his camera on. It wasn't working properly, and he, he's he gone back onto this. So he's probably just waiting and sorting that out. But like Chris right. said, you know, okay. 
grab it and do it, you can do it. Anybody can do this. Yeah. Have a conversation. <laughs> Red does the conversation type. And a lot of people work better with that because you get to, you, you ask questions, do an interview, whatever you want to do. Whatever yeah. makes you feel more comfortable, it's fine. And what I can do now <laughs> is turn is. it over to our number one person in this company, my brother from another mother, uh, Mr. Ash Mufar. It's all yours. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're swamped. Thank you for coming. Yellow, can you hear Yellow. me? Yeah, perfect. I hope you're doing fantastic today. Uh, thank you for allowing me to come in. And I don't know what was addressed. Uh, I was uh, planning to come in uh, sooner, but as usual, uh, somebody likes to talk to me at any given moment. My name is Ash Mufara, and I'm your friend and possibly I could be your best friend very soon. I hope you're doing great, everybody who's listening or will listen. I think it will be a an important message today, uh, unexpectedly. Uh, we were not planning to uh, speak at this point, and uh, we were preparing for the next uh, steps. Uh, we decided that we have enough information to share with you so they don't accumulate. We all understand that there has been some unexpected challenges in our journey. We're going to cut those and go back to Prior to those challenges, we've had an incredible vision, high hopes, dreams, harmony, such a positive bond, lots of hope, as we call on Passive is a beacon of hope for humanity. Uh, we ignited and enabled the dreamers again. It was a beautiful movement. It was a beautiful vibe. Uh, in many dimensions, then we got those challenges. That's not the bad news. However, we don't want to talk about the bad news. We want to talk about the hope and uh, moving forward. So we said right from the beginning, that whatever it takes, we're going to take you to where you want to go. We have a dream, and we want you to ride along. You did. You believed. And you, we said, if you're in it, you win it. And we said, we're going to do it or die at any cost. We were dead serious, by the way. And that is showing because we have such a beautiful uh, vision and incredible journey. When we realize the challenges, we immediately recognize them and admit it, all of that. And of course, I take most of the mistakes I've, I've done. I'll, I'll let you know. Don't worry. Okay. I'm, I'm not <laughs> claiming I'm the brightest bulb on the tree. Uh, I said it before, in fact, the stupidest businessman ever existed. I should be in Guinness Book Record, okay? And uh, I'm proud of that. Why? Because I never claimed I'm a businessman, and I am a person who has uh, a different way, better way to enable and, un uh, and uplift humanity. I don't care about running a business. And because of our intention, uh, that will prevail always. 
because lots of people are crying out loud for what we have and what we propose. So regardless of the mistakes or the challenges and all that, cut that, like let's edit, go back to the good vibes, good old days, and we're just about to have these challenges behind us. And not only go back to where we were before, but with much more experience, a better structure moving forward that we're going to the next phase of our journey. And I will break that in a practical uh, roadmap to you. Uh, I'll be very precise about exactly what's happening. Uh, like, you can write this down. But when we go to that next phase, you're going to recognize, okay, this what was supposed to happen. Aha, uh -huh, now we get it when you were talking about reshape the planet. When you do this, when you, this is what you meant. Okay, uh, make, make, you know, uh, the, the world a better place. It's possible. Okay. Uh, if you see so many corrupt, evil people around it doesn't mean that's what the world is the world is still filled with so many kind hearts with so many uh positive people who are going to give a hand to the next door neighbor or to whoever is in need and that's my drive to be able to, uh, to to sustain this journey despite all the heat and challenges uh, because I believe there's so many good people we're, we're, we're just uh, working and connecting them together on a better purpose or a better track that we are far better we're better off together so this is like the intro uh, allow me to, to give you the specifics now so you wouldn't be here if there's not, if like you don't believe there is something positive or p p potentially something positive. You wouldn't be here if you don't think, what if it works? And if, I mean, of course, there might be somebody who are just like trying to watch a negative drama failure. Uh, they'll be disappointed because we're coming back much stronger. We're going to have the best turnaround ever. And the reason is because it's possible. There's so many people need it, and we're capable of doing that. And the challenge is that we discovered they were like literally a blocker on our journey. Remove that blocker. It's a beautiful road ahead. So many lanes, but we're going to be fine. Okay. Now, as we all know, uh, nice, almost naive Ash, I may forgive uh, all of that on my personal damage and, and, and all of that, but make no mistake, uh, this world is not a jungle. You cannot destroy the dream and the business of so many people and just get away with it. That's a very naive thinking. Uh, even if I forgive, uh, they're the failures, and that's why I'll tell you um, not only 100%, they're the one to lose, not us. Three hundred percent, they're going to fail. And face justice and whatever they deserve. 
there are people in the company, employees, ex-employees, and founding members, affiliates, customers, who are directly hurt by that doing. And it's unlikely they will forgive all of them. I'm talking about thousands upon thousands. And there is God also. I don't know if he's going to forgive because that's that's wrong and haram in every book on earth. And the other thing is the dreamers. We're all dreamers all across, inside, outside. So for somebody to come and hijack our dream, I don't know if, if they're going to have 100% forgiveness. So it's unlikely they will get away with it. And this message is not for them, because it doesn't matter their opinion. It's for you to know that it doesn't mean we can just sacrifice seven, five years, six years of work, whatever your capacity or involvement in the dream of your life and tens of millions, hundreds of millions in different currencies and, and, you know, the passion and the hard work of so many people and just come and, like, sound like you're a smart, wise character that you just get away with it. No, we have to set a good example for humanity and for the children who are watching. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. Now, I'm not looking backward. I'm moving forward. I'm not Kamala Harris, by the way, so uh, it sounds a little cliche, but uh, truthfully, I mean it. Literally, we're not moving f backward. Uh, we have to go uh, and continue to process our duties. And I will not change who I am. Yeah, it's necessary that you're careful, cautious, you know, uh, don't give the faith, the trust all the way. But uh, as I said, we're not just a beacon of hope for humanity moving ahead for the future, but also love is the foundation of our operation and execution. So we always have that in our heart. Uh, we are going to remain human. We're not going to change because of someone's wrongdoing. This is who we are. And there's a saying, if you fail to uplift somebody, let's say, help them rise to your level, say you're ahead of them, at least don't let them succeed to drag you down to their mud or uh, mediocrity and and a lower level. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Uh, so it just adds to that bitter uh, episode in our journey. It's just one episode, but it will be behind us like many other things we sustained. Th this is different, of course, and um, it will add to the weakness of our victory as i often say the uh, the harder and the tougher the battle the sweeter the victory so it would it will definitely make it even more valuable uh so uh, let's be very specific now get back to business and i uh, want you to know i will update you on all the changes that have happened on the corporate level I'll be, not today, uh, I'll be able to update you on that. Uh, there has been some uh, drastic changes, and they're necessary. But moving forward, uh, we want to go to the next phase of Unpassive. Before we go to the next phase, we are working tirelessly to reopen Unpassive.
on June 24th, uh, our servers were shut down. And by design, it's it's going to be known uh, soon to you. Uh, Somebody is responsible for that. And uh, it, it was really messy, but we have been working very uh, effectively to recover that. Uh, so we're approaching two months being in this dire situation. However, uh, that's about uh, to change. So we have three, we were able to conduct uh, three different scenarios. I'm going to tell you uh, A, B, C, and I'm going to say them in or in the order of the possibilities, okay? So the most probable is scenario A, which we could recover and reopen as we were two months ago uh, within days, potentially uh, by the end of the month. That is ho the hopeful and probable. All right, we're we're really doing whatever it takes to uh, make that happen. Now, if that doesn't work, scenario B, which will be with some missing ingredients, that also could happen by the end of next month. So you got. Within August, by the end of August, scenario B, we're we're hopeful that's not the case. That will be another month. The, the, the ugliest scenario, I'm going to give you that, within three months, uh, it's going to take three months to go uh, to that point. Regardless, that is hopefully, I'm going to say, hopefully we'll, we'll, it will be uh, just like... Uh, a conceptual thing is not going to be the it's it's the unlikely uh, case now whatever whichever happens we're talking about it could be let's let's focus on the first a and b we're talking about not even having another month potentially so we're roughly in the last quarter or third of getting back to where we are and the minute we're back on that uh, position uh, immediately we're gonna announce the next phase of unpassive and that is going to thrill you the next phase of unpassive is where we were supposed to be a couple of years ago but which eliminates that period of challenges and the wrongdoing that we faced. So we're going to go back. So you could imagine how it will ignite the community again, once again, and enable that buzz uh, that we, we enjoy having. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to live for. I am living it, as you could tell, I'm always fired up because of that. Now, you don't know the details, so you are stuck with where we are now. So you're talking about a, a week, a couple of weeks time. With your support, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And then we'll have that pizzazz okay uh to uh, to to rock the boat again uh i believe it's going to be a beautiful uh year and if you are in my position and looking at your desk and see what's available right now you're gonna fly out to michigan right now and find the coldest lake and jump right in it That's not me. 
as not me. All right. I look at it. I see this is temporary. We're going to tackle all those issues, navigate through them, and uh, get to the other side where I know how beautiful it is. And you will see it firsthand. So in conclusion, we have ABC. We got roughly a week or so, and we got uh, four weeks, okay, another month or so, and we got three months at the worst case scenario. If you are just focused on the details, you're not going to be happy. What you should focus on right now is that we're coming back. We didn't surrender. We didn't wave the white flag yet or ever. We didn't say it's over. That's when it will be devastating news. We are talking about moving forward. Yes, challenges. But no matter what, we're going to overcome them and go to the next phase. Coming back, it will be crystal clear how we move forward. And whether it's uh, a month from now, a week from now, or three months from now, you're going to add to it a few weeks for us preparing to go to the next phase. This is the most beautiful uh, stage in, in, in our, our journey and the most beautiful and promising uh, uh, status that we're in right now. This is exactly what we've been working hard from day one, and those blockers have been removed and eliminated. Let God deal with them. All right? So uh, I wasn't expecting, to be honest with you, that by now I will be able to foresee uh, the exit or the outcome from this. As tense as it is, as, as uh, uh, you know, uh, tight it is, it's very promising. It's uh, I could see the light. I could see the uh, energy. You're going to be excited because from that moment and on, we're going to be in charge of telling you proper timelines. We're going to be more clear about, you know, the direction. I'm telling you, it will explode because of what we have and what we have prepared. That should give you a case if if we have laid those different scenarios that goes or the same goes by when we're talking about the business itself the business model i mean it would be insane for us to just have all of our eggs in one basket like thinking this is what we got it didn't work adios see you no that's not the case yeah this didn't work. We have A, B, C, all the alphabet, whatever it takes. And we can go a second round and we can also go to the Mandarin al alphabet. Okay. That's quite a lot. Okay. To, to go through all the different possibilities, whatever it takes, we're going to, we're going to make it happen. Uh, I, I didn't want to get into more details. I just want you to know we're coming back. These are the different scenarios. We're not going anywhere. And then the minute we do that, we're going to be talking about the next upper phase, the next top, the better level. And I know you're going to be thrilled. That's when I said I'm going to be your best friend to see not just what we went through. That's kind of like, okay, just for fun. But where we're going is what matters and what you will see right in front of your eyes. Uh, my brother DeGarmo told me that uh, this will be sweet and short. I don't know about sweet, but I know it's not going to be short. So let's talk a little bit more. 
so I'm ready to chime in back and forth. Uh, and uh, I agree that uh, it's time for us to uh, reunite and get connected. So we are prepared to uh, catch the news uh, fresh, right fresh from the oven when they come out. Uh, so we can move uh, forward and, and you don't fall behind. Uh, it, it will be quick and it will be very uh, productive. Uh, so uh, I know that you probably covered uh, the fact that there are so many uh, events are going um, online to, uh, to, to get involved in, uh, whether the uh, daily lives or, or here. Uh, Red, I think you do. Uh, what was, um, is the chair? Can you say Yeah, it? in the chair. Yeah. In the chair. In the chair. You see, Chris, that's what I told you. It's not in the chair, okay? It's in the chair, okay? It's, there's no R, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in fact, if, if you want to come on in the chair, I don't mind interviewing you. After. I'm in the fine. chair right now, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe we should interview With you. With chair. So... <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll be happy. It's an honor. Absolutely. I'll come in. Cool. Uh, what would be the topic? And uh, uh... Basically, it, it, it's a very easy. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, uh, on, where you came on, from, on, your own passive journey, hold and on what on are you looking for out of on passive? Hold, hold on one minute. <laughs> If he's going well, hey, on anybody's well, show, it's ours first. Okay, I never fight for that. We, yeah, I'm sorry, love you, Red, but not that much. Okay, we, you're not. We can do this. We can do this. Hey, listen, we'll all listen. three do it. Calm down, calm down, calm down, <laughs> New Jersey. Okay, listen, listen, listen. He he spoke out first. Okay, but I'm not gonna do neither. Okay, when it comes to talking about myself or family and all of that. Okay, that's a irrelevant that's unproductive and i suck at it if you don't know that okay so let me be very clear but if you want to talk about business and you want to talk about others i'll be your pal fair enough marty it's all yours yeah 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 no we don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why, would you, why'd you, why would you want to talk about an idiot okay so uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Let's talk about Red, somebody. Red goes, more. okay, you got him. Yeah. He yeah. traded you off so quick, Red. Just like, like that, a, Red. Boom. Like a hot yeah. potato. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I said, oh. I hope Red says it first. <laughs> Chris, did you see I'll how pass I played that hot them? potato? You they, know what? They, they, I'm they sitting there really, watching this. And now they're yeah. like, both are dumping me yeah, out of the book. Yeah, a couple of ping pong <laughs> balls. They don't know what to do. They no, don't know no, what to do. I, 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 I started to feel. I started to feel. Did I just um, bite it onto a hook? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm the quiet one. I'm a different stupid. Yes, yes. You you calculate. Yes, I, I see that. <laughs> oh, he's a calculator. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Red, we don't have this a, was funny. We don't have this a was funny. In <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. Uh so uh we're gonna get in business, okay? Uh pay attention to uh, shining the light and in the chair, okay. Uh, <laughs> and, Ju and Julie. <laughs> and Julie and uh, whatever Marcian. it takes. Okay. Marcian however, it however whatever their schedule is, mine might be adjusted to fit in my schedule. If, if that's not too much to ask for. Oh. Because I don't know you can make allowances. If, if it's fitting. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. We'll so it. I'll we'll make everybody it. happy, but I'll change the agenda and I'll change the schedule. Is that okay? So basically, yeah. I'll make up my own show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, not, hey, Red, I'm not even sure I'm we're invited. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ash, it's your exactly. train set. You can play. It's your train set. You can play with it how you like. I think um, we moved back. I think we, I think we moved you, to the caboose, Red. I, I, I don't, I don't think uh, you need more intelligence. To recognize how much I love you and I love to be with you and our audience. So yeah. it doesn't take a genius. This is my passion. I would drop everything to be with you. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, the you know, the the chaos that we're in, it's a fiasco and uh, we have uh, so much to do. Uh, I'm buried with uh, duties, but 
but I'll yeah. always find the time for a cup of coffee with a friend. Yeah. Well, there's a new show right there. A cup of coffee with a friend. <laughs> oh, that's definitely for Susie. Okay. Susie. <laughs> We're going to call it the thinking cup. Come the think and cup. have a cup of coffee. No, I, I suggest oh, you just keep doing tea. what you're doing and let us go to the, the other route. You're too busy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can we know all about yeah, you. Absolutely. You can pop in a, a webinar. You're muted, Ash. You lost your mm. microphone. Can't hear you. <laughs> clap, guys, clap. <laughs> yeah. Boy, did you guys get it. <laughs> Yeah, but Red was quicker than me. Red goes, okay, you can have them. <laughs> Red had a big cable ready to plug into that chair. You know it's there. <laughs> hey, that, that hot potato got past pretty sharpish. I can Marty, see James back. Red, Red said, Marty, you already. want them so bad, you got them. Yeah, I was like, damn. Oh, my goodness. That was no. too funny, you guys. You, I, I hope we get that caught in a recording. That's a good snippet right there. It, it, it's on the recording, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I wasn't quick enough to shut that off. Yeah. Before he comes back on, I want to say one thing before Ash says something. Mine would Ash. Yet. Go ahead. Well, okay, stay there. Mine would Ash says today. I don't want to see post in 15 minutes saying three months. Right. Say exactly what he said. Let take a snippet and say exactly what he said, because I just know there's going to be a million different posts of everything he just said. So stick to the real facts. That's my the more, uh, the more likely is a week could be a month. Yes. Last scenario, three months. Yeah. Absolutely. So. And that is the thing to remember. They're scenarios, guys. Obviously, things behind the scenes uh, are the reasons why Ash has given us these three scenarios. If things work out good, happy days. Well, it shows you a couple of things. Okay, the first perspective is let, like we're working hard. Okay, it's not one thing that we're working on. Those are the most probable. I mean, we tried other things that didn't work. Okay, you you don't need to know that, uh, you yeah. know, uh, the stuff that are irrelevant. Uh, however, uh, realistically, we are in business. So we didn't leave business. We got a a jam okay but uh we'll uh we'll get through it uh but what if what if it's uh a few days so you go and say okay we i got a good month okay you disappear uh i apologize to say that you could fall behind because this is now where we want it to be and it's going to be a different fashion a different way i love the style we're in it's very accurate it's precise it's a uh, uh, is productive and you and you're gonna love what we built for you. Uh, so not only we're just gonna reopen and like business as usual, okay. I'm gonna say it this way, okay. It's both business above usual. No, him and these words. Uh, Bo, Bo, hey. Those names he comes up with. <laughs> oh, it's business above usual. All right. Okay. Is... <laughs> uh, you know, like I... No, yeah, my God, that's two this. that you hit. Two that you just. Blah. No, no, it's okay, but you still gotta fix. Oh, Ron. Oh, whatever. Okay. So... <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, uh, let's. Oh, it's not. Oh, Ron. Yeah, Marty. Did, okay. And it's not the name. It what comes in it. It's a substance. On point. All right. Oh, and who's God. there? One day you're right, Chris. And who's One there day. in the chair, okay? In the chair. Yeah, I can okay. drive too. <laughs> <laughs> That's that should be your punchline, right? Who's there in the chair? Okay. No, no, this is going to go horribly wrong. I know. <laughs> uh, disclaimer, I hope, disclaimer. I hope you're not recording or, uh, yeah. What do you call that? Streaming. Yeah. 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 We're streaming. Yeah. We're streaming. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, we, just we, a we few thousand. We don't want YouTube to shut down their business. <laughs> We're out of here. Okay. <laughs> we didn't build it for a bunch of losers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
there's a disclaimer for you right there. Hey guys, we're having fun. We're done. Okay, so we're just chatting with uh, with our brothers. If you don't want to be here, you can walk away. Uh, but we're mm -hmm. having we're having a blast. We don't get to talk to you live uh, quite often. So we got Julie. We got uh, Marcian. Uh, I love Comfort. my uh, tech pros. Okay. Oh my God. Comfort, of course. Uh, Narelle. What a lady. What a lady. I, N Narelle, of course. Okay. I don't speak Aussie, but I'll try my <laughs> best. But of course, uh, Red in the chair and Mr. DeGarmo. Uh, you always drag me anywhere you, you want me to. So I'm like, at your service anytime. Uh, I know. Thank you. Bye yes. Bye. Just say we're Chris, back, baby. What, what am I going to do with you? Go fishing, my God. Look at this. I love that. That's the show I want to be in. Okay. Yep. The big catch. The big catch. Hold on one second. Something. You ought to see that lake behind the mass. It's it looks like the ocean. It's so big. Is he in a boat or in a in home? In a, he's in a, home. in a home, but he's right at the right at the beach. Yeah, pin him. Uh, I see myself here. I don't know why. Remove my spotlight. Okay. Chris, that's beautiful. Is Show that him. Lake City? Show him the no, lake. No, no, no. I'm up in the UP now. I'll go outside. Hold on. This my is. Uh, you had a question on there. What is the coldest lake in Michigan? Technically. Uh, it is Lake Superior. This is Lake Huron. So Next this is the... Lake Superior? No, no, or... this is Lake Huron. This is okay, a, let this me is see. From an island. Yeah, I'm uh, looking at the map. Okay. Look at so, the size of that. Perfect. This lake is huge. I mean, uh, we rented this Whoops. cottage for three days up here, and we got a boat, and you literally goes past these islands, and it goes for miles. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, we could see it. Where's the island that you went to yesterday? Well, I went to all those islands yesterday. Oh, they got okay. coves inside of them too. So well, the I, I'm sorry, the Chris. Bridge. Which one? Call. Which one is this? Okay, I'm on Drummond Island, Michigan. And Drummond this is Island. Lake Huron. Yeah, this is Lake Huron. Huron with okay. I I, yeah. I heard of that. Okay. Uh, so if you go over the Mackinac Bridge. Lake Huron and Lake Michigan meet, and then you go. So, farther are up. you east or west of uh, I seventy five? I'm north. No, but okay. I'm straight north seventy five. So you could probably say I'm a little east of it if, if you're. That's what you're talking about. Okay. Wow, your camera clear. really cleared up. It shows the island, Chris. Yeah, because I'm under this. Uh, the eavesdropper for the shade, but oh, you're, there's you're, an you're, island out there. You're on an island right now, right? Yeah, I'm on Drummond Island, Michigan. That's, that's right. I had to take a ferry to get over here. Did he mind? Yeah, he was a little sore after he carried me. <laughs> <laughs> no, the wings weren't big enough. So if you look, Lake Huron is huge. I can, uh, I could take this all the way back to my house, believe it or not. Then you go to Lake Michigan, then you go to Superior. You got the Sioux Locks, and this water is really not too bad, but Superior is ice cold all year. R really fresh. It's really clean lakes. They're huge. All these roll down to the uh, St. Clair River, to Lake St. Clair, and then it goes into Wow, lake so you cross the bridge. Okay. Oh, yeah. This oh, is, wow. This so this is the very north. Yeah, wow. This way yeah, I'm going to go to the tip. I'm going to go to Whitefish Point tomorrow my son and i and that's where the edmund fitzgerald had sunk off that coast and they have a museum and white beaches and a tower oh, and the lighthouse wow. and the whole, whole fun i think it's more cool. fun for me than my son but <laughs> it's it's really nice i tell people uh up here if you don't have a deck it's of cards 74 degrees football. it's not bad this is like yeah today perfect. it turned out to be beautiful the wind picked up a little bit but the last three days the wind's been blowing 30 40 uh, knots and the the water has been really rough. We went out yesterday and uh, about wow. two footers, not bad. You're going places. Oh my goodness, this uh, is incredible. Yeah, you get a cool breeze from that lake, don't you, Chris? Oh yeah, I got all the windows open now. It's like having I, there's air conditioning and heat in here, but at night you got to shut them and turn on the heat because it gets cold at night. 
But uh, there's people laying wow. out and tans and everything right now. But we, we had a cottage on this island for years when I was younger. All my dad and his brothers bought a cottage up here, and they bought property in Scotts Bay. And you can see how big this uh, lake is from what the map you're probably looking at. So it goes okay. pretty far. All right, that's the show I want to be. Chris at the lake. Yeah, the big lakes, not those little lakes. Here, yeah. I can go, and here I can go all the way to Florida from this lake, Ash. Let's put it that way. Wow. That's yeah, you can beautiful. connect all over the world. That pretty is nice. It's open, yeah. It's yeah. Pretty open. It, it, it looks uh, uh, lighter blue, unlike most like freshwater uh you see that? Yeah, it's it's a very clean lake here, and it's very clean. Mm. If you go out under the bridge, uh, you can see all the way to the bottom, 30, 40 feet, 50 feet. What do you catch uh, there? Oh, well, of course, I catch nothing anywhere, obviously. But <laughs> out here, you, the, the, I went out to breakfast at this little local breakfast shop here. A young girl, she's leaving for college to Michigan State in a couple of days. She was out last week in the channel where the ferry crosses you to come here. They caught 32 salmon. They caught like 30 trout, big ones. I'm talking big, fat monsters. Uh, and mostly out here, you catch northern pike, uh, bass, perch. You catch about anything out here. But let me, I can't catch nothing. I can't even catch a cold out here. So This Just is incredible. I mean, wow, yeah. salmon, this is a big one. So that's amazing. Yeah, good, good eating. But you can see it's, 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 it's almost like if you look at it, um, you, you think you're in the ocean. And then I, I made a video. Where I, I'll send you a video where I went in the back of the island and you look like you're in Africa. It's that that desolate on certain parts of the island. It's all flatlands and it's really wild. So, but it's heavy. It's solid rock. The whole island is built on like quarry mines. Sorry, quarry. So now, if you, if you make a show, that will be from the studio right where you are. Yeah. And I have to be physically there, right? Yeah, come on. That's how we do it, right? That's yeah, the are. standard of your show. That's the standard. That's right. Exactly. There's an All airport right. on the When island. is your next show? Uh, tomorrow morning at 10, but I won't oh be here. God. I got to. <laughs> you got to kidnap me. Yeah. Tomorrow. So, and we're going to bring on red for shine the light on that head. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> That'll be an interesting one. That's beautiful. Yeah. Careful, Christopher. <laughs> and and I'm I'm loving the fact that there are multiple options, not just one show, one face, one yes. setting. Okay. Uh it's quite beautiful that um uh, you know we have a variety of, of different uh perspectives, you know, different uh focus. So I like that. And uh Everybody has something unique and powerful for sure. Yeah. Ash, I'm going to have to uh, love you and leave you guys. I've already uh, had to put uh, back a meeting half an hour. <laughs> oh, and no, I can't, no I've got to go. No so, problem. We're uh, going to really continue sorry, to but, uh, uh, shine in the light. Yeah, right please now. do. Please do. And <laughs> hey, listen, it's great. It, it's great to. Uh, it's great to see you on here as always, Ash. Uh, we'll you're definitely such an inspiring connect with you. Person. Everything. Thank you. We're definitely going to arrange something and I'll be right there with you. Okay, my friend. That's cool. See you later, that's, guys. That's a Bye, promise. Red. Take care. See you, Red. Uh, we, we, can, uh, we can shut down the, the, the stream, right? Do you want it to?